Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on this Monday here. We are into the Ides of August, not the Ides of March, the Ides of August. 17, 17 August, last two weeks of August here. Got to pay attention here, got to wake up a little bit very very quiet start um, to what is historically uh, the beginning of volatility so um, we're just keeping it in our pants for now um, but we're ready to take action if price confirms that something's going on let's go to the risk metrics first bond futures they've been good to us right that's two straight points down not doing much today core short is still the way if you're just getting short now it's a little trickier your stop has to be above 181 um, but we do think you can sell rallies here looking for a little bit of consolidation before this continues lower the key key lower bound is 177.07 we do think this is going to go to 170 there will be some kinks in this trade none of this is ever really super straightforward but uh, watching this pretty closely we do have some fixed income auctions this week out of Europe and Japan we've got some 30 year stuff which isn't really going to affect uh, T-bond futures, but anyway, core short. Um, one of the wrinkles that could happen is if we do go risk off, this there'll be a natural bid uh, in this, but we still think that's worth fading. Um, anyway, let's keep an eye on this as one of the metrics. Um, if stocks go to all-time highs and further, this will this will get pounded. Um, and that's one way to play that if you're uncomfortable buying stocks. Let's take a look at stocks now. Yes, not doing too, too much. Tried lower, tried higher, kind of two indecisive days here. Pretty clearly now, if you get above 82, um, this should pop a bit. Uh, 71 is pretty meaningless as far as price is concerned. Below 33.50, we're going to ask some questions, um, see what's going on out there. Obviously, we've all seen the uh, the news. President Xi and President Trump are having a little cockfight, or I would say a continuing cage match cockfight. We'll see if that develops into something something more serious or it's just banter and and bravado not super clear here's your sort of <clears throat> trend line on this that comes in um, down here at 20 uh, which is also a very key point in in all of this mess 3320 which was the low three four five day five trading days ago if you recall so just keeping an eye on this um, patiently waiting as they say in the military hurry up and wait um, patience is key but ready safety's off um, ready to shoot if needed currencies very quiet Euro's quietly moving up towards this 119.19. Dollar Swiss is eyeing 90.50, which um, there will be some risk below 90.50. Cable is not really collaborating. We got up to 131.40 on Friday, and I really thought this might uh, pop, but we're keenly interested in 132 and 131.85 if we get up through there um, that's going to be um, 
you could see some extension. Uh, so keeping an eye on the cable, but right now it's dead, 130.90. You can see over here, percentage change, everything is just dead, dead, dead. Weirdly, Euro Swiss is up 20 ticks. Um, but Euro Swiss is Euro Swiss, why, why bother? Don't bother trading that, it's just a waste of time. Aussie, middle of nowhere, waste of time. Um, even with all the squawking out of China and the U.S., nobody cares. Elections in uh, New Zealand are um, postponed, and so Kiwi's down a tiny little bit, but no big deal. It's just a COVID outbreak, um, but Kiwi's under a little bit of pressure from that news. Range lows are... Are down here at, where are they recent range lows are down here at yes yeah, 65 and a quarter anyway I don't want to belabor this on a Monday morning where absolutely is nothing is going on um, we're watching ES more as a proxy than rather as a trade because we're we're trying to reflect um, risk on through short short fixed income we don't have any real interest in currencies at all. We will get interested if we make a new high here above um, 119.16. These highs here, 118.64, 118.68, not, not very meaningful for us. I mean, if anything, this is a fade um, into here and range trade until we see what's going to happen in August. Patience is the key here. Um, guns down, but safeties are off. So uh, watching, watching news flow, watching price. One of the easiest ways to do this without watching news flow is just see what the hell's going on if we trade up here at 33.82 or 33.50 in ES. All right. Not much, uh, not much to do as far as trading, um, but lots of preparing. Let's visualize some stuff. Uh, let's get ready to take some risk and make some money. The next uh, 30 to 60 days historically are good for trading, so let's be ready. I've said enough. Good luck out there, people. Ciao.